How you doing guys? This is KDF channel back with the amazing Toyota hybrid videos. This one is a mystery. This one is a 2012 Toyota Camry hybrid has 140 something miles. Look what it happens. Um, the car is not, it's not starting. It's not giving me the ready. So I push the, the depress the brake pedal. It shows, um, let me see if I can focus what it's showing. Look, it's showing that key with the Wi-Fi signal or the, the wireless signal right there. When I press the start button, the ready clicks two times before disappearing. It's giving me problems too focus on the so this is what you have on the dashboard you got all the lights on now let me go back I already have the text stream attached to the computer we have here a bunch of codes we have P0880 we got P080C0 P0B3D P0C30 you can see all the all the codes so let's go on detail on the last code and you'll see uh, something is wrong with the battery something like I've never seen before I'm pretty sure people that fixes hybrid batteries have seen this a lot but I, we have the all the data here so let's move to the right to see what's going on with the battery voltages and we have all the all the blocks here. We have 15, 15, blah, 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 blah. Then we have all the blocks here. But look what happens between the module 14 and the module 17. It's crazy. We got zero, tw almost 23 volts, zero and five volts. How is it possible that two modules are reading 22 volts? That's crazy. When it should be reading only 15 uh, is it a different uh, module they use for this one? We don't know. We're about to find out. So we have to open the battery. I'll show you in this video how to open the hybrid, uh, the Cambry 2012 hybrid battery. Tomorrow I'll be doing all that, but it's going to be on this video. So this is the second part of the video. I already removed all the pieces I needed to get into the battery. So... Um, you got the spare tie cover that's right here you remove the spare tire cover you remove this side um carpet this carpet goes right here you remove everything that's on your way on the inside of your car you have to release the the back seats and you see right here uh, you had this plastic cover over here and another plastic cover over there um, it was missing so that's the first um, clue I have that somebody already tried to fix this battery from this part from now on um, this won't be an instructional video this is just how I do it because this is very dangerous so ask for help or instruct yourself the best way you can because this is high voltage and since somebody else already work on this car I don't know if any wire or anything is touching the battery so this would be very dangerous so what I'll do now I'll use my multimeter to check for voltages everywhere to see if everything is right I'll use my protective gloves, all that stuff just to be 100% sure. So you don't do anything if you're not sure and don't use my video as a guidance. This is just showing you how I, how I do it, but I'm not telling you how to do it, just to give you an idea. So in the next part of the video, I will have the battery outside and um, I'll show you what to do. Very important too, every time you work on any car remove the battery uh, the leads of the 
12 volt battery that's very important so let's see what happens on the next part of the video and what are the mysteries of this battery I just pulled out the battery the hybrid battery on this side you have two connectors one goes to the fan another one goes to a sensor you have to remove this um, the, the fan exhaust uh, passage that goes here then you have to remove on this side this plug right here and you have to remove the positive and negative that goes into the batteries you got three bolts on each side here you have one there two right there the same on the other side and you have the two bolts that goes in here there and over there and then carefully you can start removing the battery remember I'm not instructing you how to remove the battery I'm just giving you an idea the first step I always do after I have everything ready is to remove this plug It's very important so we can disable the battery we have the battery here you can see now I'll start the taking apart all the casing and I'll be showing you in the video what's going on with the modules I already have a bad sign of this battery and it's because you can see we have like carbon of something that burned look at this this not good at all something happened here they did something wrong look at my finger so this is bad I don't like how it looks I thought it was gonna be a simple fix but let's keep opening it and see what happens so I was wrong on my hypothesis I I thought somebody already fixed this battery but you can tell that nobody opened this battery yet you can see all the terminals are corroded they have this white uh, corrosion stuff but this is uh, I've never seen this um, the battery caught a a sharkhead a terrible one it involved the, the module you can see it's all burned there those contacts right there pretty sure the this module is bad uh, you can see the connector it's terrible I don't know how this happened maybe um, wow it's it's a mess it's a total mess so um, um, what I'll do is I think it's I'll replace the that wire that whole thing uh, uh, I'll buy a brand new one and I'll see if I can find this module brand new one fix the modules the ones that are bad do the calibration um, balance and put the battery back in and see if it works it's been a week already and I bought the brand new module right here same uh, serial number it's called the sensor battery voltage I also have a brand new um, wiring harness for this side this one is the one that connects to the module and um, what I'll do is I'll put everything back together I'll go to the car with the tech stream and I'll clear all the codes and I hope that way we can have the car running again remember because we had this massive shortcut the car didn't start at all it showed the the key symbol on the dashboard and the car didn't start so let's see if with this fix we can make the car run it again and and get ready for the customer i'll summarize everything that happened with this battery so first of all i got this car because of a no start the customer thought it was the remote control not having connection with the car but I saw the car did start the ready sign came twice and then went off so basically I was also hearing some clicks on the on the battery itself I knew that what the battery was trying to tell me something so basically when I opened the 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 battery pack 
I found that the, the more control module for the voltage, that little box I show you in the video, I got moisture inside and then this moisture became a shortcut that traveled to the wires and it, it joined the wires. They got welded by this shortcut. That's why we had those weird readings on the text stream. So what I did is it, it, it was kind of hard to find these parts, but I had a friend that has a lot of hybrid parts. I found the wire, I found the module. I opened the whole battery. I did a, I replaced like four or maybe seven modules of it. All the modules needed, I replaced it. Then I recharged, discharged each one of them. I balanced them. I put everything back together. Then I installed everything in the car. The car started right up. I erased all the codes. And it's been a long time that I fixed this car. The customer didn't call me back again. So I'm pretty sure it was a success. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna watch more videos related to the hybrid problems, let me know in the comments. Thank you and see you in the next one.